So yes, welcome everyone to another workshop from our program. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Marinella. I'm a visual artist. I'm a part of our classes group uh, organization uh, that you know made this project possible. <laughs> and um, today we are going to learn something new, a new craft is yarn art landscape. It is quite exciting. Uh, you'll need a lot of patience, <laughs> so just grab your luggage of patience. <laughs> it will be a very detailed work, so yes, but I hope you'll enjoy, guys, because it will be really, really nice. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. <laughs> so let me show you guys what materials uh, do we need for today's workshop. So we need a piece of cardboard, first of all. Uh, I would reckon if you can have it uh, A4 and or slightly bigger than A4, not too big because the work is going to be very detailed. I'm using a double, um, double layer cardboard because uh, we're going to use a good amount of uh, uh, glue and uh, it needs to hold yeah, all that. Okay, uh, we are going to need pencil and rubber. We will need colorful yarns. Uh, what I would reckon if you guys can have shades of yellow, um, orange, purple, blue, and green, and some brown. If not, no worries about it. Uh, you'll need the scissors, so very careful for young ones. We need, yes, another thing, guys, because we are going to use a lot of hands and glue, have a wipe or a tissue uh, around you so you can clean your hands all the time because it's going to be very sticky. Uh, glue, PVA glue. Yeah, the same, we are going to use a good amount of glue. And uh, yes, this is all what we need. Uh, so you, you have, you can have any type of thread, wool, yarn, so anything, you know, you find in your house. I literally just went all around my house to find, you know, different, different threads, uh, even from my grandma. It's so funny. I, I think in the camera, you guys can see this blue, but it's a purple. <laughs> it's a lovely purple. Honestly, I, oh my God, it's so scary. <laughs> it's an amazing purple. Let me just try another one. Okay, this is a brown. Probably you see it as black. <laughs> yeah, uh, a dark red, orange, and yellow, and a white. Yeah. Quite exciting. So the first thing we are going to sketch on our cardboard, um, a very simple landscape, not too detailed because it will be difficult to apply the uh, thread. So I'm going to start with a horizontal, so try to have it horizontal, yeah? So arrange your cardboard horizontal or, or landscape. So first of all, I'm gonna start with a horizontal line. This is the line for um, the horizon. Yeah, the line that separates the uh, sky from the uh, soil. Yeah. Try to avoid the middle line. So go a little bit up than the middle line. This is just a rule of how to uh, draw a landscape. Yeah. So here we're gonna have on the smallest part, we're gonna have the sky. Here there will be hills. So in the sky on one side, not in the middle, is going to be the sun. So I'm gonna make a circle, just a medium sized circle. Um, I hope everyone can hear me because I, I have some messages that uh, someone can't hear me. I think, um, yeah. Shazia, maybe try again. 
to log in, log out and log in. All right, so yes, Shazia, some people, they do hear me. Um, so try maybe to log out and log in again. So uh, the landscape we're going to do, do is going to be a sunset. Um, so for the sun, I'm going to use a white color. And I want you to look around your uh, all the colors that you have for your uh, threads. So I'm going to use, choose the colors that you want for your sky. I want to use a yellow. I want to use after yellow, orange, a red. And then I want to use a blue. Brilliant. Yes, so everyone can hear me. So try to uh, see what colors do you want to have for your sky. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five colors and make five circles around your sun. So you mark actually the area where you are going to put the, the thread. So I don't have much yellow, so I'm going to make just a, a small circle around the sun for the yellow. I have quite a generous amount of orange, so I'm going to make a bigger circle. Obviously, it's going to come out of the shape. It's fine, yeah? You just make, like, imagine you're drawing out of the, uh, out of your cardboard, yeah? And then see if you have any corners, yeah? Left here, yeah? Okay, so I've done, this is, this is going to be my orange um red so i'm gonna make another circle of red probably now it's going to be just a line here yeah on the sky um i think i'm gonna add a, as well a purple this is yeah it looks blue but it's purple <laughs> yeah so here i'll have a light blue and then a purple yeah so I have marked the areas where I'm going to add each color. This will be my sky. Yeah. The same thing I'm going to do with the hills. First, first of all, I'm gonna have three separate hills. So the first here I'm gonna make with a wavy line. Yeah. So just this wavy line to mark one hill here. And then from the same line, I'm going to start with another wavy, wavy line. And I'm going to mark the second and the third here. Yeah. Oh, pressing with the pencil. So there will be like two different, uh, three different uh, uh, heels. And the direction of the yarn will be different. So, uh, yeah. So if you can look around and if you can choose some colors for this one, this one has to be dark, a medium green, and here a light green. So he, this one, the darkest one, that is the farthest away, I'm going to use a brown and I'm going to use a purple. That you guys, you see it uh, blue. So I'm just going to mark a middle line here. Yeah? for the two colors. The second one, I think I'm going to uh, use uh, green. So I'm gonna mark the area where I'm going to put the green, uh, purple. I'm going to mix with a little bit of blue so just be as creative as possible. You know, if you don't have the, all the colors, just imagine different colors. So it's not like, you know, you need to be stick with the exact colors that I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to use um, blue and then green. You can even write, yeah, if you want. So green, blue, so you know, yeah, the colors that you want to use. Yeah. 
the last one i'm going to make it the lightest so i'm going to use a light blue mixed with light green yeah so i'm going to make for example one stripe of green one stripe of blue and i'll finish it off with green so you can write yeah if you feel that you don't want to forget so you can write green blue green yeah I'm going to wait just a few minutes for you guys to do the drawing. Uh, write the colors yeah, that you are using. And then we're going to start gluing the thread. When we'll add the glue, we will need a lot. So be very generous with the amount of glue that you're going to use. And just another thing, uh, don't forget wipes or, or, or tissues with you because your, your fingers will get gluey a lot and you, uh, the thread will stick to your fingers. It's not dangerous, <laughs> it's just a, you know, just I'm just saying, telling you so it can be easier to work. Brilliant. I didn't use the rubber, so yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to start with the top part, that is the sky, and um, with the sun. I'm going to apply a generous amount of glue. only in the first circle. Okay. Now just take, I don't know, a generous of not that much, just a little bit, if you can cut a little bit of uh, thread, I can't, tell you exactly the measurement, but just, you know, just a little bit will be easy to work out. I'm just going to cut a yeah, little bit of the thread. I'm going to start from the center of the circle. Yeah. With my finger, I'm going to press it gently so that the, the thread can uh, uh, get fixed into the glue. And I'm going to go round and round and round. Yeah. With the uh, thread. So I'm gonna just uh, build it up by uh, doing um, circular yeah, movements here yeah? until all that circle is uh, completely covered with the yarn. Okay, yeah, so I started the sky. I'm gonna cut out yeah, the rest of the thread because we don't need it. Okay. Mine is quite textured. It has different fluffy things. I, I quite like it. So this why I just uh, used it. You guys obviously can use any uh, any type of thread that you like. Uh, so you feel already your hands are gluey. I'm going to clean the hands because it will be difficult to work the next color. Okay, the next color is going to be uh, yellow. This is slightly thinner, so I'm going to take a little bit more of this. It's not that thick uh, thread as the previous one. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a little bit more. Okay. 
and the same generous amount of glue. As I mentioned, it is a very detailed work, um, but the result is just outstanding. It's literally worth the effort. So I applied the glue on the second circle. Yeah. I'm going to start first by going around the white uh, thread, and then I'm just going to go round and around around it. Yeah. Yeah. You can leave gaps, so no, don't worry if there are gaps. Just with your uh, finger, try to gently press your uh, thread. Uh, into the glue. Yeah. So gently press it, not too much. Uh, don't apply too much pressure because then it will, it will stick to your finger, you know, and it will, uh, um, it's not gonna stick on the cardboard. Yeah, so very gently dab it, yeah on the carbon. Yeah. I don't know why, but I have a feeling it's like I'm a spider mommy. <laughs> it's like I'm building a spider web. <laughs> My children already are, huh? So just go round and round and round. Yeah. So don't worry if you have the gaps. This is why I choose the cardboard because it has already the brown background, which uh, will look really nice, you know, when it will get uh, dry. Um, when you finish, when you finish, because probably we won't be able to finish in this session the work. You can make put on a, a, like a frame around, so maybe a thick type of wool around it. So you can frame the work with that. It'll look really nice. Okay. Just one circle and I am done. So very gently, yeah, press it. Okay, I have a little bit left over. First of all, I'm going to clean my fingers from the glue and I'm going to cut the uh, excess of the yeah. There are some parts here that it, I missed to add the glue, so just on top of it, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Don't worry if it is uh, on top of the thread because it will get uh, dry, um, it will dry clear. Just gonna, yeah, just make uh, the same. Just gonna press a little bit more, dab it, yeah, so I can make the perfect circle. And then cleaning the hands. Yeah. I'm going to move towards my next color that is going to be orange. The same, I'm going to start with a good amount of glue, going very careful around the yellow.
So now I'll use uh, the orange. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna start the same. First of all, uh, making a circle around the yellow. Okay. Okay, I'll make the second circle. When I'm gonna reach to the top of the um, um, of the cardboard, I'll tell you in a second what we'll do. Okay. So now I'm on this side of the cardboard. So what I'll do, I'll use the same round movements, but I'm gonna go up to the top of the cardboard and then I'll go back down. So up to the top of the cardboard and then back down. So these ones, this extra parts here, we're gonna cut them when the glue will be completely dried. And here, where is this line, they will be covered with the next layer for the heels. I'm going to add a little bit more glue because it's way too less and uh, my um, uh, thread is not sticking properly. Okay. So the same circular movements, but only up to the top of the cardboard and then we go back up to the horizon line and back up. So don't worry about the edges because we're going to cut them after the glue will get dry. So um, I think the thick uh, yarn or the thick uh, wool, I think they are the most, um, the better ones. And you can use even more, uh, you can fill in more quicker if the thread is uh, bigger. Okay, the same I'm going to clean my hands, cut the thread from this side and I'm gonna move on the other side. Press with your fingers more so you can stick properly, mostly on the sides. Yeah. Can apply even from the top a little bit more glue, at the bottom as well. So make sure that they stick properly to the cardboard. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, so the top one, we're going to cut it after the um, glue will dry. And with the bottom ones, we'll cover with the um, layer for the heels. Yeah, so don't worry about this. So I'm going to carry on with uh, the orange on the other side. Just going to apply a little bit more glue because by this time uh, the cardboard that absorb uh, the glue so it's like I need to work a little bit fast okay. so I'm gonna carry on with my orange need to find the end of this I'll start from the bottom. Okay. 
and then going around the sun yeah, and then back. Yeah. Gently press yeah, the thread so it can get fixed into the glue to the to your cardboard. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to mention you can use a swell canvas. If you are doing the second piece, if you like this technique, you can use a canvas as well. So it will be ready to be displayed. Um, so just up, down, up, down. Yeah. Continuously cleaning the hands. By this time, I'm quite generous. I leave a lot, uh, you know, from the thread here on top of the cardboard. It's fine. As I mentioned, you can cut it when the glue is dried. So this is just to give you a hint of how to start your work. So you can carry on after the session is finished. Um, if you want, you can even leave it to get dry for a day, just the sky, and then you carry on the next day with the heels. And um, the third day, you can do the flowers on top of the hill. So you can follow the picture from our website. And then uh, you can um, do the flowers. It's an easy technique. The only thing is that uh, it's a very detailed, very messy. So you, you, you really need patience for this. For whoever is doing knitting, this is nothing. <laughs> knitting is far more uh, detailed. You can use, yes, any other uh, uh, things. For example, um, for the flowers, I can use some beads. I have some beads, so I can use this for the flowers. Yes, you can apply anything once you have this background done. You can do some birds with some, uh, you can get some dark brown uh, thread. You can do some birds on the sky. Actually, I think we might do now. Just show you how to do some words. Okay, finished with my orange. Just gonna press a little bit more so you can get properly fixed into the. On the canvas, on the cardboard, cleaning my hands. And I'm gonna cut yeah. just gonna show you now but don't do, uh, don't do now don't cut it now just cut uh, yeah this uh, top parts of the thread so this when it's dry is extremely easy to cut it Don't cut it now, just to show you how they look like. The same here, if you want, you can cut it after the, the glue is uh, dry. Uh, just to look extra nice, you can take um, a thick wool. I'll take, let's see, a brown. Yeah, uh, you can take a thick wool and you can stick on the 
sides of your uh, cardboard and you can make like a frame. So this will be really nice. So any, or you can use different little pom-poms and you can make a frame or uh, you can use uh, beads. The same beads will be quite amazing for that. Yes, yeah, so you can be, you know, as um, creative uh, as possible. Um, my next color, it is uh, red. Forgot to mention, thank you so much for everyone who emailed me their works. Outstanding, really outstanding. I, I love the violin from Lisa. <laughs> Lisa was so good. Wow, really amazing. So yeah, thank you so much. The same tag us if you post on your social media. Thank you Shazi as well. <laughs> really, really nice. Brilliant. So the same, I, first of all, I'm going to cut a generous amount. Of, uh, I'm going to take a generous amount of this thread. So you can start either from the top or the bottom. Yeah. And the same, I'm going to use the movements here. Yeah? Down, up, down, up. Yeah. So the same thing. I'm going to do it the red color. Yeah. So you see, once you start adding two, three shades, it uh, really started coming to life really nice. So just okay. the movement should be up, down, up, down. Okay. Don't want to have completely straight lines. So with my fingers, I'm gonna press gently the thread and make a round shape, yeah? yeah. Okay, I've done my red. I'm gonna clean the hands. I think the next color I mentioned the uh, blue. I'm gonna make a blue color. And I'm gonna add some birds as well. Same. First of all, I'm going to take out a good amount of this uh, blue. Yeah. And I'm going to start, first of all, yeah, around the red and then carrying on yeah, with the blue. So the secret is always, always hands to be wiped out from the glue. Otherwise it will be difficult to work out the thread. Some uh, art you probably have seen on the social media. They put nails and then they use the thread around the nails. 
that is also quite nice. Yeah, so just going circular movements up, down, up, down. Yeah. With more colors, much more nicer it, it looks. For example, I've done this um, blue and I have a little bit left over of uh, orange. So I'm just going to make one line of orange just to feel like, you know, I'm painting this. So I just want to add a little bit uh, different shades, like blending the colors. Okay, and then I'm gonna carry on with the, with the blue. Um, always check if the glue is uh, absorbed into the cardboard that means you need to add more. Try to be a little bit uh, quicker. Okay. There a bit more. Yeah, the fingers. The same as I mentioned, I want to mix a little bit more the colors. Just gonna add a few stripes of red into the blue. Yeah. So if you don't have many colors, but you j just mix and match like this, it looks like actually <laughs> you have more colors. <laughs> so you're doing a nice blending, you know, of uh, different shades. I need even to change my wipes. They, they are now full of uh, glue. And the last uh, layer of blue, and then I'm going to do the purple and uh, a few birds. So the same, how I'm going to do the birds, the same guys, you can do the technique for the flowers. So the flowers will be on top of the heels at the bottom of your work. So just, uh, you know, circles for the middle part of the flowers other little circles around for the petals and then just a stripe for the um, stem and then green longer uh, circles for the for the uh, petals So I'm going to finish it off with the blue and then I'm going to end with another layer of uh, purple for the sky. I'll send you to everyone a uh, feedback form. I'm really curious if you guys enjoyed this workshop. How do you find it? How do you find this technique? Um, is it easy, difficult? Let us know. Um, I find it extremely detailed. 
but when it's finished, it is um, a really nice piece, really nice. I mean, you'll feel by the end it worth uh, every... One second, I just need to cut. So, yeah. So the last part is going to be purple. I'm going to apply um, glue first. Then I'll take a generous amount of purple, which very weird in the camera looks blue. Okay, so you can start either bottom or top. It is completely entirely up to you. And then just go top, bottom, top. It is a real shame you guys can see the this color is such a lovely purple. Oh. Brilliant. Finished it. I'm gonna cut the extra bits. Just the last touch, a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna press more. I'm just cutting the top ones just to show you as a presentation, but. I mentioned don't cut it now, let it get uh, completely dry because it will destroy the shape if the glue is still wet. And it will destroy the scissors. So. <laughs> Just uh, want to cover a little bit from the heel, so I'll show you how I'm gonna go over this thread. Um, so I'll just apply good amount of uh, glue. Yeah. Obviously, if you want to take your time and if you want to wait until the sky is dried, uh, then you can cut this uh, extra pieces of thread and then it will be easier to work uh, with this layer. And then I'll show you some words and I'll leave the rest with you guys. So I'm gonna take some brown the same good amount of brown. So I'm gonna follow the, the wavy line that I've done for, for the heel. Yeah, and I'll start sticking the um, thread. Gently um press on the on the thread so you can get into the glue
Do you see how easily, yeah, I'm covering these parts, yeah, the, yeah. And you carry on like this with the different uh, colors. Brilliant. I want to show you, I just want to cut this side. Can go after. Right. Yeah, so nicely. Obviously, you can do more, you know, cover more the area so you have everything here, here covered, more detailed. Uh, now, I want to do the birds. So I'm going to use a dark brown, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit of brown. If your thread in, is not, um, if your thread is not thick enough, it should be a little bit thick. Yeah, you can half it. Yeah, yeah, twist it. Yeah, so you have a thick thread. Yeah, and then for example, I'm gonna I will have a bird on the orange uh, sky. So with your brush, try to it's like you are painting your bird there. Yeah, in a V shape. Yeah, you see I'm applying quite generous amount of glue. Yeah, and then. Mine is quite big, so I don't want that big. Mm. Yes, smaller. Just cut a little bit more. And just, yeah, stick on top of the glue in a V shape. Yeah. Still is too big. Yeah, just leave it like this. Yeah, obviously you can make them smaller. Yeah. Um, so the same thing you can do with uh, here when you finish with the field, the green and blue and you can use even a yellow, yeah? So on top, you can do the uh, flowers as well. Um, just the last thing uh, I want to show you, uh, I'm going to bring, um, I have some nice beads. Yeah, so I want something different for uh, my frame. So I have nice beads and I'm going to stick them on top of my work. Okay, so I'm going to apply a good amount of glue. So I'm just giving you ideas as well how to decorate more your work. Uh, if you have pom-poms, they're quite fun, different colors or the same color, um, the same beads or a different color of a thread. Usually it's either a very light or very dark color or something that matches your um, your room. Yeah. I'm gonna stick my beads on top to make the frame. Okay. 
So it's up to you. I didn't mention this in materials. The bids literally now came with this idea. <laughs> so be as creative as possible. Look around your house, what you have, what you can add, you know. Um, it is really nice if you can hang it. So just maybe stick another piece of thread, yeah, from the back of your uh, cardboard and you can hang it on the wall. Um, so the same way do the hills. Yeah, carry one with different colors. So, so remember, this is the darkest one. And this one is a mid mixture of dark and light. So you can have a brown, green, uh, purple, again green. And this one make the one that is closer to our eyes, more lighter, brighter. So you can use blue, green, uh, can use even yellow, even a stripes of orange, it will look nice. So can you use in between the shades, a stripes of different other colors? It will look really nice. I'm gonna try, for example, I'll put an orange stripe here just to see how it looks. So I'm just gonna do quickly, or uh, what I'll do just quickly, we have three minutes left. One green and um, one orange. Don't worry if it dropped on top of your, uh, the, the glue dropped on top of your work, you can make a bird there, you know. From all mistakes, you can actually make something nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna do um, one line of orange. Yeah. And then I'll do a few lines of green. So yeah, just literally play around with colors, whatever you have around your house. Um, if you finish, if you post it on social media, tag us. We really want to see your works. Tell us in the feedback form that they're gonna send you if you enjoyed it or not. If it's not your type of art. Um, what would you like more? So um, we can do different workshops. So I'm just following the same line of the hills. So I use, I'm using now green. But as I mentioned, guys, you just be as creative as possible. Use the colors that you have around the house. So I use the stripe of uh, orange and now green. I think I have left just for one line and that's it. Exactly one line. Wow, that's good. <laughs> yeah. So how nice it to look, you see, with the shades of green, imagine a few blue or different shades of green. I don't have different shades of green. So um, yeah, really different type of art, detailed, unique. And in the same time, you can use all the leftover threads in your house. I was literally, I have a massive pile these threads and I was thinking what shall I do with them and um, yeah like this came the idea for this workshop I hope you guys enjoy yeah so please tag us on the or send us your pictures on our email info at rclassesgroup.com tag us yeah nice piece more it is on the distance, much better it looks. Yeah, this is the secret of art. 
So in museums, you need to look at the distance of the artwork. So you have to be at the distance to see them, how the colors, they blend one into each other. I hope you guys enjoyed new type of art, new techniques. And I'll see, we have three more workshops from this uh, program. Yeah, and I'll see you guys tomorrow the same. We have at the same time another workshop of calligraphy. Interesting, yeah. So thank you once again, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brenda, for your nice comments. Thank you, guys. See you guys. Email me for anything else. Yes. Bye, guys.